Hello there. So today I'm going to make a really quick video on how to use a stethoscope. I have this stethoscope here. It's a Littman Classic. I've had this for about eight years now. <laughs> this is only my second one that I've had. Um, I had another Littman before and it got misplaced. So I had to buy another one. So I bought this one. And like I said, this is about eight years old. I no longer use the stethoscope because I'm a case manager, but I always keep it just in case. You never know. Like if I have to take someone's blood pressure, I have a stethoscope to do that. So what you do is, let me, let me just explain it. So this is the bell. This is what goes against the patient. And what you're doing is, it's called auscultation. You are listening to the heart sounds. There's different places where you place the stethoscope to hear the heart sounds. You'll learn that in your med surge class when you go over the cardiac. This is, for this particular stethoscope, like I said, this is a Littman. This side is for adults. This side is for pediatrics. And it turns. So if you are a pediatric nurse, you turn it and then you listen to your patient with the smaller side. If you are listening to an adult, you turn it so you can hear the sounds through this side. So this stethoscope, it has earpieces that are pretty soft. They are replaceable. You can replace them as needed. So you see how it's kind of turned in this way. This goes in. So this goes in towards your ears. So you're going to put it in your ears like this. You take the bell of the stethoscope and you listen to your patient. You're listening to their heart, their lungs. You can listen to some lung sounds up here, but mainly when you listen to lung sounds, you need to listen on their back. And then there are certain areas of the back that you want to listen to them. And then you also want to listen to bowel sounds. And there's a certain method of listening to bowel sounds too. So you can do all of that with the stethoscope. They're not cheap, but I think they're a good investment. I mean, I spent a hundred something dollars. I've had this eight years, eight years. My other one, I had it for a lot longer than that and it just got misplaced. I think when I moved, I don't know what happened. I moved, it got misplaced when I moved. Otherwise, I still would have had the original one that I bought 24 years ago. It was nothing wrong with it. It just got lost. So, yeah, I and the original one I had, I did use that one in nursing school. It was great. It was slightly different than this one. The bell was like kind of like an oval, but like a teardrop shape. So yeah, that one was good. This one is good. Now they have an even fancier one that's like electronic. A lot of the doctors I work with, they have the electronic one. So I'm like, oh, that's cool. But you know, I don't do direct patient care anymore. So I'm not going to buy that because I, I have no use for it. But I'm like, oh, oh, that's cool. But one of the doctors let me um, see his and I was playing around with it. I was listening to him. Oh my gosh, the, the sound was crystal clear. You could hear everything. You could hear everything with that. I mean, this one is good too. Don't get me wrong. You can hear stuff with that, but that electronic one, oh man. So what I'll do is I'll post a link for this type. And if you want the electronic one, I'll post a link down below for that type too. All right. Thanks for watching.